So we're moving on to the next match of the evening. It is H&M's Hanan My H&M's. Mm-hmm. Sorry, Hanan Mayuratani and Mogur Kongar again. My Hemi with C, Hameka, Micah, and Lady C. It's Mel's picks, and they'll take it away. Yes, this was a fun, fun match. So I'm going to really quick through like the pick and choose the notes that I picked on this one. Um, Lady C and Momo started this match, and there was a good chunk of this starting bit where Momo had actually outsmarted Lady C. And actually had Lady C kind of like a little confused. Um, I really, really enjoyed that because we're really finally seeing Momo being showcased a little bit more in these matches with some of the things that she's doing. And I'm living for it. Um, Lady C also able to utilize her size and power, though, very, very quickly. And we're seeing how resourceful Lady C is the more we see her wrestle these tournaments, especially regardless if she's working with her team of Queen's Quest or with not her team of Donna Del Mundo. <laughs> she seems to have a good repertoire with both of them. So, it, you know, she's one of those people who I think can go back and forth. Um, Mike and Hanan having a, a judo esque exchange, which was really, really fun. But I really did feel that Micah was um, the, the real powerhouse in this. Even though Hamika was in this match, I felt like Micah was just a little bit more on display in it, a lot more than Hamika. Um, I'm wondering if maybe that has to do with Micah's knee issue that she's kind of having right now. Um, I noticed that at the Stardom Award show um, the, two nights ago, she did have quite a heavy brace um, on her left knee. So I'm wondering if maybe that might have something to do with that. Um, Micah really kicked the holy heck and heck out of Hanan, delivering two scoop slams before trying to pin her, um, before bringing, being broken up by Mayu. Um, I don't know how else to say this, so I'm hoping that the kids understand what I mean when I say this. Micah gave, um, so Maya Otani tried to do a diving crossbody onto Micah. Micah caught her. Um, Micah, I, I, again, I don't even know what to say except for yeet. She yeeted her. She just caught her in the crossbody and just, <laughs> and just tossed her. Um, right over her head, um, not having to duck or anything. Um, I know. Oh, where she gets tossed over her head, but she just stands there. Like I, I watched JBL do it for years. He always fell back with his fall away slams. Uh, Hangman does it when he does his now. But the fact that she didn't even like, she just went and just stood there over her head, like the show Mm -hmm. of strength that Mike has. It's absolutely incredible. Um, the the bout between Miu and Himika was absolutely vicious. They were just going um, how you had mentioned earlier. Someone was just going strike for strike, strike for strike. These two were savage with each other, um, Mayu and, and Himika. Um, so this is the funny spot. This is the last spot I'm going to talk about for this match. <laughs> was Lady C doing the airplane spin on Momo while Micah? is chasing Hanan around the outside of the ring. It was just the most hilarious thing to see. I was laughing so hard. I was actually crying. I actually had to pause the match and get the rest of my laugh out. Imagine Hanan just in a full sprint, running circles around the ring, Micah chasing her, Himika and Mayu not knowing what the hell is going on, Mayu just randomly getting bulldozed, by Micah, who's running, Himika going, okay, I'll just beat up you since you're on the ground. Mm-hmm. Um, and then uh, Himika finally stopping Hanan, who I don't even know how she was still going. It's like she trained with Rocky Romero, the forever run around the ring. Is no, she trained with Cesaro because that guy can spin forever. Come on. Yeah, that, it was absolutely hilarious. It was a fun. It was a fun match for me. Um, Lady C picking up the win for her team after pinning Momo after, um, I think it's a spin-out powerbomb that she calls I'm Ready. Yeah, I'm Ready. Yeah. It's a blue, yeah. essentially a blue thunder bomb, yeah. Blue thunder bomb, okay. I wrote down mm-hmm. spin-out bomb. Yeah, same thing. Probably because I didn't know what kind of bomb it was. <laughs> I didn't know all, every one of these moves that I know at this point. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think of this one, Andre? I had a great time watching it. again. Like you, you brought up a lot of the big spots that I had written down. Like, dude, it was just yeah, I got you for once. Yeah, the, the power <laughs> in this was just absolutely phenomenal. Like, just just the power off of Miami with C, mm-hmm. dude, it was crazy. It just 
absolutely phenomenal. Um, mm-hmm. Dude, it just that oh, where uh, Lady C goes for the choke slam, but Mo ends up cracking her with a super kick and then bounces mm-hmm. off the ropes and then just gets kicked off and slammed to a choke slam. That choke slam from C just looks murderous because mm-hmm. she's picking up these smaller girls and lifting them so high and just crashing mm-hmm. them down. It looks absolutely phenomenal. And I will have mm-hmm. to say, Hanan's judo throws are, are a thing of beauty, man. They look just how, how like like how big they look, but how effective mm-hmm. they actually are, are absolutely phenomenal. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, 100%. Yeah. So we're going to move on to the next match of the evening. And it is, the tr- it is prominent Har- Haragi Kurumi, Risa, and Suzu Suzuki taking my, one of my favorites, Club Venus, Mariah May, Mina Shirakawa, and Zaya Brookside. First note I made here is I love the entrance thing that the, the girl's doing and not letting the announcer make the announcements and this time yeah. mariah may did it and she, she i loved it like that mina did it on the last show i don't i mm-hmm. can't remember if i did it before i can't remember i think um, i has done it before yeah. yeah i think she did on one of the IC recovering but yeah Correct. um i absolutely love the fact that they're doing it and they're changing and each it's not just mina doing it every time it's mm-hmm. they're each each person do it and then right at the end mariah says something in japanese and the entire crowd claps for her <laughs> it's just like oh that's nice one day we'll understand and then they were all trying to decide who's going to start against haragi and it was just like so i was like okay i can do it i'm strong and she flexes she's like she's just like i'm strong and she flexes like her mother she's so tiny and it was just, it was just <laughs> funny and it made nothing against her she was just beating the crap out of her and even when yeah. even when zaya came back against taragi she had the chance to tag out and she kept attacking and then she goes for the cross body and gets caught the only reason she got the tag out was because mariah may dr- did a drop kick off the top to the back mm-hmm. of zaya pushing her over onto haragi so she, so zaya could tag to mina but mm-hmm. it was just like ah uh. and then Another yeah dangle, dangle. Yeah, there was a dingle dangle in there. But, dude, this entire match with Mina and Suzu trading strikes was just mm-hmm. insane. And then Suzu getting that released German, and then Mina standing right back up and cracking her with that spinning back fist. And then they both just dropped to the mat. Mm-hmm. Ah, dude, that was absolutely phenomenal. Mm-hmm. Um, dude, so much good stuff in this match. Uh, um, Mariah May at one point tries to sunset flip power bomb Risa yeah. Sarah off the apron to the floor, mm-hmm. but she can't. And then Suzu Suzuki runs up and she like boots her in the face. And then Haragi runs up to her on the outside and boots her in the face. And that's when she power bombs Risa Sarah to the floor onto her mm-hmm. teammates. Like, dude, I, w- I thought they were gonna pull it I, I, with just straight to the floor because it's Risa Sarah. I'm no, I wouldn't be surprised. You know what I mean? She's a deathmatch girl. She's gone through much worse than that. Mm-hmm. So it wouldn't surprise me. You know what I mean? So, mm-hmm. yeah. And also, I mean, I don't know if you noticed the last couple shows, Suzu Suzuki, um, especially is showing on her back the um, kind of cuts and scars from her most recent. Um, oh, and there was already a bunch there. of scars there. So. Yeah, but you could see the fresh red ones. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, um, power to you, girl. But whew. so after the power bomb, M- Mariah pulls Risa back in the ring and then just spears the shit out of her. I think this is the spear I was thinking of. It wasn't even Thekla's, it was this one. It, she just <laughs> speared the shit out of her. The spear I always associate with Thekla now, but and then, um, at the end, prominence ends up stopping a triple team attack uh, for, and Risa hits the falcon arrow onto Mariah May. And then an air raid crash, followed by the top rope double knee drop, and Risa Sarah pins Mariah May for the win. Mm-hmm. Slightly disappointed by that because I'm a big fan of uh, Club Venus, but you know this was an absolutely phenomenal match, and I, I really like Prominence; they're a very good team. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What's your um, thoughts? The only thing I would want to add to this is um, the the move you mentioned, Haragi did in in the last one, that deep six that she did. I think the one she did on Brookside in this one was way nastier <laughs> way stronger mm-hmm. way more heavy she um her soul exited her body briefly oh know? yeah oh for sure yeah there's so much to this match it was crazy man it was yeah. just absolutely was insane. great <laughs> yeah anything else on this one no no i'm ready to talk some thecla 
Made of that evening is a way to tie or gold ship, if you want to call it. Motor Momo Watana, Momo Watanabe, Natsukatora, and Sakakashima take on the Body Body Bombers. I love that name. Uh, Julia, my Sakurai, and Sakla. Again, absolutely phenomenal match. Um, uh, the hammerlock suplex from Julia on, on, to, on Momo just, it looks, sorry, it's a hammerlock northern light suplex. It looks mm. absolutely phenomenal. Mm. Then there was another spot where her and Thekla got like a dual hammerlock DDT to uh, Nisukatora and Saki Kashima. And it's just, and then, so, and they roll, and they end up rolling to the other side. And this so Thekla goes up to the top and does a splash off the top, aiming for a way to tie, but they all dodge out of the way. And she ends up splashing Julia and Mai. I was just like, oh, mm. I felt so bad for her. But in the end, uh, Momo ends up hitting the Peach Sunrise on Thekla. Saki off the top with the double foot stomp and Tora with the Swanton and get, get in a way to tie slash gold ship, however you want to call them, get the win. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The only, the, the only thing I want to say is I want to see Thekla take on that Tsukatora, man. That beginning part of that match was mm-hmm. off the chain. And, like, Thekla is almost like... I want to say like borderline Minoru Suzuki crazy when she's in that ring or Suzu Suzuki crazy. She enjoys it. She's loving it. And I love watching it. And I'm probably going to steal that hairstyle at some point. Yeah, you really should. <laughs> but, and probably it, will. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's absolutely phenomenal. So, and then I just want to get, bring it up. It, it's the point. So I'm going to bring that up as the main screen as I break this down so you can all see it, except for the one in the bottom corner, because it's all covered up by our look, by the scan code. Uh, so in the red block, you have, <laughs> you've got Power Passion Pineapple, Club Venus, Cause of Changes, and Unique Glare, all with four points. This is in the red triangle division. Uh, Queen's Quest with three, Bari Bari Bombers with two, with one win and three losses. That's pretty brutal, because... I only got three more matches, and that's yeah. and then you and then the team of H and M's um, with zero. It's like ooh, ouch, ouch there. But and then over on the blue triangle division, you have Oedo Tai and Prominence on top with six matches, six points each. And then you have Are Bono GE with five points. My Hemi with with C with four points. Rebel and enemy, rebel enemy, or rebel enemy, whatever you want to call them. Uh, two points along with classmates with two points, which is really nice to see that at least the classmates have one win in this. And then you have a lollipop at the bottom with zero points. I gotta love all this confusion with the names. Because <laughs> I'm like, we we were like, is it army or is it enemy? Rebel army or rebel enemy? I don't know. I keep seeing it written as rebel and enemy, rebel ex enemy. I don't know. It's it's like when the collection game started for NJPW and and Makabe's <laughs> team name was Dream Watch Saint. We don't know what it means, but it just it just makes sense. <laughs> So we're coming to the end of the episode. Thank you all so much for joining us here. We really do appreciate it. Um, please, if you are watching and enjoy this video, please like and like the video, subscribe to our channel. We really appreciate it. Uh, they go a long way for us. And we know you're out there appreciating us. If you're doing that, thank you very much. Uh, I want to give a big shout out to our sponsor, Rogue Energy. You scan the QR code down in the bottom right where Mel's kind of finger pointing at there right now. Uh, use the code OLEPODS for 10% off your order. Absolutely phenomenal stuff. I love Rogue Energy. It does phenomenal things for me. Um, and then with that code, uh, I want to thank our friends over at uh, our local establishment. Uh, you can check them out. i got their stuff running across the bottom there. Instagram and I think TikTok at OLE Podcast. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can check out their YouTube page, youtube.com slash our local establishment, and then twitch.tv slash our local establishment. You can check them out. I think we're running shows almost every night of the week This as we're going right now. And then me and Mel show up there randomly on other people's shows. And mm-hmm. I'll be back in February with Marvel Talk there with my buddy Old Ed. So please check out our local establishment. They're great partners for us. I've been mm-hmm. absolutely mm-hmm. great in working with them and all the great friends we have made, I, we have made with them. It's been absolutely phenomenal. And then another person I want to give a big shout out to is right up here, top left corner, my good buddy, Mike, the ref, please support Mike, the ref. He's an absolute gem of human being and does great stuff. Um, his program is great. I can check it, check him out at twitch.tv slash Mike, the ref every Wednesday. He's there talking dynamite. He's there other multiple other days of the week playing video, awesome video games, which you can check out at 
youtube.com slash at Backbreaker Gaming, where you can check that out. And if you want to see more wrestling content, you might even be watching us there at, twi- at youtube.com slash uh, Backbreaker Video. You might be checking us there. If you ha- if you aren't, check Mike out there, but check us out there. And then if you are checking us out there, check us out over on Andre and Melball Wrestling Talk on YouTube. You can check us out there. Excellent. And if you are wanting to watch Stardom Wrestling, I will leave a link in the description box below because I'm lazy, but you can also go to www.stardom-world.com. It is 920 yen or $10 Canadian. It is completely worth the price. And look at the amazing tournaments that you guys are going to have access to. You have the Artists of Stardom Championship tournament right now, which is the Triangle Derby. We had the Goddess of Stardom tournament last year they're gonna we've started 2023 with a bang and we have nothing but good things to come on stardom there and andre my friend if we're wanting to follow you on social media where are we gonna find you uh you can see across the bottom i'm on twitter at that canada guy instagram at that canada dude i'm on a couple others i I haven't really gotten into them too much yet uh i'll be slowly trying to post a new forms i guess but and that'll be at that canada guy um and you can find me on uh facebook at andre melba wrestling talk Mm -hmm. we're posting usually a few times a day on there some wrestling news pictures and stuff like that so come down and come on chat with us if you're wanting to contact a melba you can find me on twitter at Collins Melball, or you can find me on Instagram or Facebook at Melball Collins. You can also find me occasionally on Astra Pizarro's uh, YouTube site, where I am on her Ladies Wrestling Showcase. Yes, a beautiful Astra Pizarro, the natural. Um, she just dropped a um, interview um, yesterday where she was interviewed with a nice gentleman named Jose about her content creation. So you want to go check that out. And Andre. Do you have anything going on this week, or are we just going to be recording more Stardom and NJPW? It's just more NJPW coming out later this week. Uh, I should be dropping probably Wednesday or th- probably Thursday, I'm going to guess, because we're not yeah, recording until Tuesday we're night. we're going to start doing Strong, and you know who's on Strong right Strong. And, and don't forget, we have the first night of the... Um, uh, the Oh, a new crap. tour that we are not new remembering tour, right now. And it's the first <laughs> main night, which it, which does feature a King of Pro Wrestling uh, championship match between uh, Shingo Takagi and uh, the Great Okan, which is going to happen January 22nd, which is later tonight for me and Melball because we're recording this on January 21st. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. What a time to be a wrestling fan, hey? <laughs> and then, and then uh, like I said, my with OLED uh, coming back next month, I think it's February, around pretty much the weekend that uh, Ant Man comes out. We're going to be dropping a show either on the Saturday or Sunday on live on Twitch, uh, where we're breaking down the movie and telling everybody how we awesome. liked it. Make sure you follow us on all our social medias. We'll be posting when that guy is going to be going live for you so you don't miss out on all that awesome Marvel talk. And that being said, it looks like we're coming to the end of our episode here. I am your Melba. Over there is your Andre. We will see you guys next time. Adios.